Today, I'm going to talk to you about patching the tennis court. Uh, we had hydrostatic bubbles here, which we cut out and we replaced with asphalt. As you can see, we've got the asphalt here and we're going to go ahead and start mixing our court patch, which we put sand, we put Portland cement and the court patch. And it'll be pouring it, let's see, right here. This will level the surface and make the patch look like it was never there. Very nice patch. Now we'll allow that to dry for about maybe three hours, maybe four hours. Might be even a little longer since we don't have the best day. If we've got a lot of sunshine, it can dry within the hour. On a day like today, we might be waiting three, four hours. It's going to patch it once. Looks great. Put an AR on top of this to smooth it out. Maybe even two, depending on how rough the patch is. Then he'll put one coat of AR over everything and then the court will be ready for painting. You can now see the crack was opened up and it is pretty wide and we're gonna be able to get lots of material in there to make sure that that crack has the least amount of chance of returning. Right here is an area that we didn't do the crack repair to yet. And you could see how small that crack is and how difficult it'll be to get material in there. So that's why it's super important to use a diamond blade saw and cut the cracks to allow material to go in them. Today, we're gonna be applying sealer to our lines for sharp, crisp lines. Gerardo, our sports surface technician, is applying the sealer. And then we'll go ahead and roll it on. That way we're gonna have razor sharp lines. We do this on every single one of our sports, not just on our pickleball courts. And this is the real secret. It takes a little longer, uses more material, but the end result is that we have great looking lines. Paul with Sport Surfaces. Today I'm going to talk to you about applying white line paint to pickleball courts. Gerardo, our technician, is finishing the last touches of our court. He's applying the white line paint. He already applied the sealer. Uh, should be one more hour and the lines will be done on this pickleball court. We'll allow it to dry for about an hour, maybe two, depending on the weather. Then he's going to strip off the masking tape and the court will essentially be finished. Hi, Paul with Sports Surfaces here. I am standing on a futsal court that's nearly completed. We took a tennis court and converted it to a futsal. We got the goals done. We've got the patching, crack filling, everything that was necessary in order to bring this court back to new condition again. And now the only thing missing are the lines. Uh, this court was a tennis court and now it's gonna be a futsal court. Many courts across the country are changing sports or adding multi, multi lines and multi sports. That way the community can always have a sport that they enjoy playing. Today we are taking down a racquetball court behind me on a two court. Down. Hi, Paul with Sports Surfaces here. Not only do we build courts, we take them down as well. We've got two racquetball courts here. 
massive walls. We're going to demo everything, take these trees out. When we're done, they're gonna have two brand new pickleball courts that are gonna look awesome. So whether you want us to take out a tennis court, basketball court, we can replace it with a new sport, or simply just remove the sport because it doesn't work for your home or community, we could do that as well.